Good evening. For over two months now, the entire state of Idaho has been operating under crisis standards of care, and today that changed. Idaho has deactivated standards of care for all regions except North Idaho as the pandemic's burden on hospitals begins to ease. Health experts stress the need for more people to get vaccinated so that history doesn't repeat itself. The move means that St. Luke's and St. Alphonsus will also bring back their employee vaccine mandate that they paused back in September. Our Katya Stepovic has the details on that mandate. Katya, what are you learning? Well, Mark and Kim, back in September, both health systems decided to pause the employee vaccine mandate simply because they needed all hands on deck and couldn't afford to lose employees who might have refused to get vaccinated. But now that's all going to change. Moving out of crisis standards of care for most of the state is an indication that COVID case and hospitalization numbers in Idaho are headed the right direction. We are um starting to accommodate and actually encourage our staff to take uh, much needed time away. Now that staffing ratios are looking back to normal, it's also time up for St. Luke's and St. Alphonsus's temporary suspension on employee vaccine mandates. We are not sharing a mission accomplished um, message. Um, we don't believe this will be our last surge of COVID. We, we hope it's the worst one. Now that we are moving out of crisis, we will um, begin implementing both our influenza vaccine requirement and our COVID uh, vaccine requirement. According to Dr. Souza, chief medical officer for St. Luke's, the health system is actively reaching out to staff who've been non-compliant, meaning they have not received a vaccine or have not been granted a religious or medical exemption. Although there is no set date on when St. Luke's employees will need to be fully vaccinated, KTVB was told it will be in the coming weeks. Well, we have almost 17,000 employees and we have a fraction of a percent. It's 0.6 percent that are non-compliant. About 9 percent of St. Luke's staff have been granted an exemption, but not all of them come easy. We have had fairly wide guardrails around our exemption process. We have um, honored people's requests for uh, religious exemptions when those have come up. Medical exemptions are quite a bit tighter. Now, it's important to note that someone who may be non-compliant is very different from someone who's received an exemption. An exemption, whether it be medical or religious, has been approved by the health systems. But non-compliant means that someone has not been given an exemption and they still haven't been vaccinated. Now, take a look at Primary Health. Primary Health Medical Group issued the employee vaccine mandate back in July. They never put a pause on it. Now, they only had about 2 to 3 percent of staff who did not comply. According to St. Alphonsus, they're also seeing 98% of their staff comply. But of course, we know the deadline for employees to get the vaccine is not up yet, so we don't know what the ending percentage will be. Today, St. Al's also told me they reinstated the mandate and they hope to have all employees vaccinated by January. That really is impressive, less than 2% mm -hmm. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. Katya, thank you.